Hey guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of a Rigel Quick Finder. I bought this Quick Finder to replace the Telrad that's on my ETX. I also use a Telrad on my 16 inch DAB. And I'm interested to see in how this little guy performs. It's supposed to be a lot smaller. It's definitely a lot lighter, so let's check it out. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Wow, okay, that is light. So, uses a CR battery, some instructions, and the second shoe. So this is cool, we can use this on two telescopes. Oh, and we have um, double-sided tape. Yeah, double-sided sticky tape, obviously, for attaching the shoe. So that's what's in the box. Let's take a closer look. So in principle, it looks the exact same as a Telerad. So obviously, you're going to have your concentric circles will be projected up onto this angled piece of glass. I think it's actually perspex. No difference. Um, on off, these are your adjusters. And I think this has something to do with probably brightness. <clears throat> we'll check out the instructions. RTFM, as they say. <laughs> okay, so having read the manual, it says pulse, small white knob located on front of quick finder. Turn clockwise to pulse. So I'm going to be really interested to see how this works. Um, one of the problems I found with using the Telerad, let me just try to explain, is while you can adjust the intensity, let's see if I can do it here, so you can increase or decrease the brightness, um, I would often find myself finding a brightness that matched the object I was trying, object I was trying to find, and then blinking between um, the object and the image of the Telrad to fine tune the location. Uh, so if this is providing that option, it's going to be a clear winner in terms of usage for me. So let's check it out later. If you've never used a Telrad before and you're still using the finder scope that came with your telescope, I highly recommend that you invest in one. It's going to make your life an awful lot easier. So to align with the Telrad, what you got to do is you've got to do it probably in daytime is best. Find an object that's far off in the distance, like the top of a tree or the top of a lamppost. Get that centered into your eyepiece and then look through the Telrad and you'll see two concentric rings. Align the center of the Telrad ring with the object in your eyepiece and you're good to go. So I think it might be worthwhile to compare the quick finder to the Telrad. Obviously it's a lot smaller. The height wise, I'm surprised. It's pretty much the same. Actually, in fact, if you consider the shoe for the Telrad, it's probably the exact same, which is interesting. I thought it would be much higher, so it's not, which is good. Weight wise, it, there's really nothing in it. It's super light. This is going to be really, really um, helpful when I'm traveling and I'm trying to reduce the amount of weight I'm carrying. Battery wise, obviously with the Telrad, you need to uh, provide two AA batteries. I've also added another two batteries and done some wiring to add a little resistor here to prevent some dew from forming on the, um, on the glass. Might do a quick YouTube video on that at some point really helps keep the dew off but yeah on the uh, Rigel quick finder apparently it is a small CR battery which I believe can, yeah fits in down here so my instincts would tell me that a CR watch battery type watch battery is gonna last quite a long time without needing to be changed so that's that's also good so there's no extra weight really in the battery the other cool thing that they provide you with is the second shoe 
Um, so I'm going to find this really beneficial because I, I did want to use the viewfinder both on my ETX and on the 12 inch dot that I have. And it's a bit of a pain at the moment trying to swap these around because you can actually forget them. Um, I did travel one time uh, to a dark sky location and realized my Telrad was sitting proudly on my ETX back home. So yes, being able to actually switch between the two is quite beneficial. I like that. That's another plus. Okay, so I've added a battery, so let's turn it on and see what we can see. And there we go. Pretty much the same as the Telrad, slightly smaller rings, but that's fine. So let's check out the pulse option. So you can adjust it fast or slow by turning it. And then you can also adjust the brightness. This is a really good feature. Well done, Rigel. This is awesome. Cool. Okay, so let's see our mounting options. Um, obviously, you don't want to put your quick finder right in front of your eyepiece because you're going to bang your head off of it. So you'll need to set it off to the side. Just so happens on the ETX here, there's a ridge, which I believe was part of where the original red dot finder was attached. It's completely per perpendicular to the line of the telescope. And obviously this is a straight line here too. So for me, it just makes sense that this will sit against this. And then you have your double-sided tape to stick the finder shoe onto your telescope base. I may actually mount this uh, more permanently at a later point, but for now I'm just going to use the double-sided tape uh, to see how it works out. And then if I'm happy with the orientation, I'll actually just use some epoxy glue uh, to stick it down because I would believe taking it on and off over time would probably loosen the double-sided tape. And also for travel, I want to make sure that the shoe doesn't actually come loose. So one thing to mention, if you're used to using a Telerad and you're going to mount your Rigel Quick Finder, the Rigel Quick Finder adjustments are to the back as opposed to the Telerad which are facing towards you. Don't think this is going to make too much of a difference. Shouldn't be too awkward to use. Just a little bit of difference to get used to. Uh, but just make sure that if you're installing that you make sure that your shoe goes on in the right way so you're not stuck with your Telerad in the wrong position. And so here it is attached. I have to say that the double-sided tape is very strong. So make sure when you're setting down your uh, shoe that you have it lined up exactly as you want. Uh, you're not gonna get any opportunity really to reposition it, which is good because that means it's not gonna come loose when you're using it. Slight little bit of movement, but that's fine. Okay, well, my first impressions are that this little viewfinder is really nice. It's got super fine adjustments and the on-off switch feels really solid. The adjustment in the brightness is really nice. The pulsation option is super cool. I can't wait to try that out. And the fact that you get a second shoe with the, um, with the purchase is, is really nice because you're going to be able to use this on two scopes instead of one.